Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you a few projects with a bunch of new products that are available. Um, this is Floral Happy Birthday, then there is an A2 size cover plate called Peacock Feathers Background, then the next one is also A2 size stylized tulips background and I am going to mix and match everything because I just didn't have time to create videos with just uh, every single separate product. So uh, first of all, this is going to be a very, very simple card because it's all about the um, onlaying, as we call it. Um, and I actually am not... How should I put this? I'm not really doing all the colors that I could because technically I could choose two colors for each section that I now just use one color for. So this actually goes really fast because I could die cut um, everything in like two uh, sections. And then I right away glue everything down so nothing gets lost because as you can see the top and the bottom have some really tiny pieces for which obviously I needed my tweezers. Not that I don't use them, them for larger shapes as well. And then this one I didn't even put in the video because it's again just on laying a uh, die cut um, a bunch of different colors for those tulips and then... Um, you know, I, I just glued everything on top. Now, this is another new product, Party Time, and I will use this sentiment um, as my focal point here. And uh, it, as always, it's um, like three layers of cardstock, so two layers of, um, I don't remember if it was white or even maybe a different color. And then the top layer is um, gold cardstock. This gold is from uh, Tonic Studios. I've been using this cardstock for so many years. I absolutely love it. Um, so I prefer this over gl glitter cardstock. Um, what else? So um, this one is actually so simple and it's pretty fast. I mean, for my standards, it's pretty fast. So you could even, I'm not saying mass produce it, but you could create more of it. Um, then this is the celebrate sentiment that I already prepared. And I did not put these in the videos because in, in, uh, other videos you have, uh, you have it. I don't want to repeat things um that much um i'm finishing this card off by adding the make a wish sentiment as well on top of the celebrate and for this i'm only using foam tape on the two sides and then the middle part is basically going to be um over the um, celebrate sentiment so um there i only need to add a really thin layer of foam tape and that card is uh, done basically. I don't like to add anything more to, to those kind of um, backgrounds because you know when you work so much on the background I don't want to cover it up. Now I'm just showing you how to put together all the little uh, things that were in the floral happy birthday set. There's a, a few flowers and then uh, there are enough enough letters that you can create happy birthday as well, not just happy B day, um, because you can use the P as a D. So um, you will see that you can create the whole um, sentiment. And I will, in fact, show you that too. So so you believe me that it, all the letters are there. Um and uh, here I'm using the Peacock Feathers background just in one color. Uh, this is the Make-A-Wish set. This is where the sentiment is coming from. I love this sentiment so much that I actually use it on so many cards um, with this release. So I am thinking maybe I should 
do something similar, like a whole bunch of sentiments. I think I might do that because I just prefer die cut sentiments to stamped ones so much. Um, yeah, in fact, I haven't stamped in ages. Anyway, um, so I created two clusters here, and in fact, I did not add the all the all the flowers or the floral elements that were in the die set but i will use them on another card so here i'm just using some um leaves which i die cut from a periwinkle cardstock um so i did not use any kind of green i am so sad because this uh color that i have in the background the the one on the cover I don't have it anymore. This was my last sheet and I cannot find it anywhere. I thought I ordered it, but it's a totally different color. So yeah, I I don't like I don't like when I run out of a color that I love using. So but what can I do? Periwinkle is such a difficult color to find. Um especially this darker one that I, I managed to find the, the lighter one. So I have two more sheets of that, but the darker one, I couldn't. Can I complain? I mean, I have thousands of sheets of cardstock, but then, you know, <laughs> when I, when I run out of one that I really love, I hate it. So anyway, moving on. Um, here I used navy cardstock. I don't know if it's visible in this light, but it's navy, the dark color for my leaves and for the sentiment, just all kinds of colors that I have in this video. Some peach, um, different peach colors and then mustard, kind of mustard, I think, right? It was mustard something something like that it, i think it was the dusk and cardstock from spot binders if my memory serves me right um so i uh, this this one is just uh the idea was that it's just a very simple colorful um focal point in the middle so you, here you can actually see that uh you can create happy birthday as well and by the way these cards are a2 size just so that you can imagine uh, the size of the of these letters but i will be using them on uh, different size uh, cards i think if you check the wildflowers video in that one i used uh, the full happy birthday sentiment on a um, on a five by seven card um so you actually can see just for size reference you know so you can you can see um i did plan to use it on a slim line but i think i did not end up doing that if i'm right um anyway but because you can, you can also create happy b day and happy birthday i think you have a, a bunch of options to you know a bunch of size options for your cards i mean um so because it was so basic the card i added some enamel dots to you know to add a little bit more color and also texture now these are the rest of the flowers and as i'm doing this uh i already saw martina creating something with this particular flower that is not a flower so <laughs> she's so smart she sees something totally different in a shape than i do um so check her uh things out on her feed on instagram I'm sure she's going going to post uh, her project at some point, um, but I don't want to give away what she created with it. So I am uh, using the Make a Witch candle to just create a one color single color um, candle this time, and 
I am going to create a cluster of flowers around my candle. Again, super simple, but I wanted to, to make it more colorful and also to use the stylized tulips background again, but then this time just in one single color. You know, I I love cover plates. Uh, obviously, I, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be designing so many. But just, I always love them cut from just crisp white cardstock. And just to use them as, um, just, just for texture in the background, you know. And just a little bit of interest, just uh, that it's not just plain white. I don't know why... why white bothers me because I actually have no problem with the white but somehow all that white space um on my project yeah I, I don't know I cannot explain interestingly though it never bothers me on anybody else's projects only mine so I don't know I guess it's not my style um anyway so as you can see I'm arranging my uh, flowers and then I use liquid glue for most um, or if I want something to pop pop off the background I will add some foam tape and then I have a sentiment at the bottom and just a few enamel dots and here we go we already have all the cards ready I hope I didn't forget anything it just feels like um, I missed something <laughs> but okay so here are the finished projects I hope I could give you some ideas with these new uh, die sets I hope you like what you see thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye bye